All right, in this video, we're going to start talking about what a set is. So basically, uh, sets together with numbers form uh, the basic foundation of all of the rest of math. So uh, this notion of a set here is pretty fundamental. Um, it's a relatively simple topic, but it's very important because it really does form this foundation that uh, the rest of math just kind of sits on. So um, anyway, uh, a set basically outside of a mathematical context, a uh, set's just a collection of objects, right? So for example, uh, this collection of markers that I'm holding in my hand here, um, or we could say like a collection of really bad movies, something like that. Um, but when we talk about sets in a mathematical context, um, we have this notion of being well-defined. So what does that mean to be well-defined? So uh, well-defined just means uh, there's no, so there's uh, no ambiguity. There's no ambiguity uh, as to what's in the set. So um, all that really means is, you know, it's, it's clear what's in the set and it's clear what's not in the set. So, for example, if we're talking about uh, this collection of markers in my hand, it's clear that, you know, I'm holding a red marker, a green marker, and a blue marker. Okay, so it's uh, clear, it's well-defined what's in this collection of objects here. Um, so we could call this a set in the mathematical context. But if we say something like a collection of really bad movies, um, that's really not well-defined because what's really bad to somebody might not be really bad to somebody else. Um, it's basically too subjective. It's a subjective term uh, when we say really bad movie. Uh, it's a subjective term, so it's not well-defined, so it's not a set in a mathematical context. Okay? So uh, usually when we talk about sets in a mathematical context, we talk about sets of numbers. Um, we'll see a few more definitions and a lot of examples coming up uh, in the next few videos. But anyway, um, a couple more quick definitions. So when we talk about um, these objects, so if we have a mathematical set, um, so a well-defined collection of objects, uh, these objects, um, they're typically referred to as uh, members. So we talk about members of a set, or uh, we call them elements. Okay, so if we're talking about a set in a mathematical context, Remember, it's just a well-defined collection of objects, but these objects uh, typically are called members or elements. So we have members in a set, uh, elements of a set, things like that. Okay, so anyway, um, that's just some basic definitions and uh, this fundamental idea of a set. So relatively simple idea, um, simple definition here, but it's in a simple concept really, but it's just, uh, um, we do want to keep in mind this well-defined notion here. So remember, there's no ambiguity as to what's in the set. Because um, if there's ambiguity, then it's not really a set in a mathematical context, right? So be careful about that. Um, but again, it's a relatively simple topic, but it's very, very important. Um, it really does form the basis for pretty much all of the rest of math. Um, but anyway, so that's pretty much it for this video. Um, kind of short video. We just want to keep the definition separate from everything else because it's really important. Um, and starting in the next video, uh, we'll talk about some notation and ways of describing sets and things like that.